Hello and welcome to my channel where I make videos about aviation and flight reviews. Today I'll be flying from London Heathrow to Club Europe on a British Airways Airbus A320 Neo. Despite the typical 45 minute British Airways delay, I was pleasantly surprised. The pilots even gave me a tour of the cockpit, so sit back and watch my review. The flight is scheduled to be just over an hour long, starting over the Alps and taking us over France and the English Channel to London. Club Europe passengers can access fast track security and the British Airways lounge. Security took under 5 minutes and after buying a couple of Swiss souvenirs we headed straight to the lounge. I was quite pleased that British Airways had their own lounge at Geneva Airport. It is on the small side but clean and modern. As you can see the food is very basic, school canteen style but passable. It can't be compared to bigger lounges like club galleries at Heathrow. Click the link on the screen if you want to see my full review. There are however plenty of drink options and even a jar of gummy bears to snack on. coffee machine also had plenty of options, though it did splash quite a lot. And of course, British Airways always has plenty of tea. The seating area feels nice and clean, especially compared to the lounge at Heathrow. It was also nice and comfortable with power sockets at each seat. And if you squint, you can see planes through the window. And there's the departure board to let you know when to leave. Which brings me to my first major criticism of British Airways. Our flight to Geneva as well as six out of seven of my previous BA flights had all been delayed. I'll go into more details in my upcoming review of my London to Geneva flight, but BA really need to get their act together. Almost every single British Airways flight from Geneva that day was delayed. In fact, besides one EasyJet flight, no other flights from Geneva were delayed. For the three hours we were at the airport, just British Airways. I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt, but they're the only airline I've been having this problem with. Anyway, I ran over and it's time to board the plane. I was happy to find out I'd been assigned seat 1A. As some of you will know, the only difference between economy and club Europe is the empty middle seat. Usually there's a table divider on the middle seat, but it seems they've abandoned this on the new A320 Neo. Slightly annoying on the front row where there's no tray table. Our plane is registered GTTNH and is almost four years old. I must say it felt older with visible signs of wear in the cabin. The seat had a typical, if slightly awkward tray table especially awkward of trying to move with one hand whilst filming. I don't usually like sitting in the front row because of this, and the fact that it traps you in when eating. Emergency, low level lighting will guide you to an exit. All exits and safety marks have been pointed out to you now. 
And a huge shout out to Aaron, our chief flight attendant today. He individually introduced himself to everyone in the business cabin and had a word with the captain to give me a tour of the cockpit after the flight. What a legend. I was also surprised at how busy Geneva Airport is. Throughout the video you'll notice a constant stream of traffic, much more than I would expect for a small city of just 200,000 people. Finally, we start heading towards the runway and pass this beautiful Swiss A220. Hopefully I'll get a chance to fly on one of these soon. And there's the next BA flight that just arrived. As you can probably guess, it too was delayed. Aaron, I'll be your in-flight leader for today's service to London Heathrow's Terminal 5. It's my pleasure to welcome you on board with us. Now, a special welcome to those of you returning from our executive club and those of you joining us from our Walmart Alliance partners. Now, may I remind you to keep your seatbelts fastened whenever you are seated and they must be securely fastened whenever the seatbelt sign is on. Now, when opening the overhead lockers, please do take care as items may have moved and could fall out cause injury. As a reminder, smoking including cigarettes, vaping and any other smoking devices is not permitted at any time whilst on board and this does include the toilets which are fitted with smoke detectors. To connect and join the BA Wi-Fi network, visit shop.ba.com This can also be found on the back of your seat and discover the prices available. Please do know all phones should be placed to silence to avoid the of other customers and video and phone calls are not permitted during the flight. Once again, our apologies, but your NC power is not available on board today's service. We do hope this doesn't cause too much inconvenience during the flight. Although we are about to start our onboard service, if you do have a food allergy or would like any information on specific allergens on board today's flight, please do contact any member of the crew. For those seated in our club room cabin, we'll be offering you a complimentary afternoon tea and drinks from the bar. And in your room travel, we'll be offering you a complimentary bottle of water and a packet of crisps. This will then be followed by our Speedway Cafe service. If you have pre purchased any items, these will be served first, followed by any on board purchases. 
altitude after just 10 minutes or so and the meal service started immediately. It's nice to see British Airways take on a traditional English afternoon tea. The free sandwiches were nice, if a bit bland. The delicious chocolate Battenberg dessert served along a side a freshly toasted scone. Perfectly crisp outside and soft inside. A proud member of the Clean Plate Club. The scone was a bit messy though. A bit shabby, but they clean it regularly throughout the flight. Good toiletries from the white company were appreciated then. Uh, as it stands, it looks like we've um, landed around about 20 pounds more than. Aaron, the flight attendant, helpfully suggested I switch seats to the other side of the plane to get a better view of London. And I'm glad he did, as this city is beautiful as the summer setting. So sit back and enjoy the approach over London. Skip to 1655 for the landing.
15 minutes behind schedule. I truly find British Airways to be an infuriating airline. Once in the air, everything was great, especially the service, but on the ground the experience was consistently terrible. My previous flight was even worse, with zero communication or service at the airport during our delay. I thought a review for that will release next week. Club Europe return flight from London to Geneva usually costs around £400 per person. I use points however, so it's just £2 plus 30,000 Davios. Either way, for two to three times the price of economy, I'm not convinced by Club Europe. Unless you want a free meal and drink service, of course. Or if you want to be allowed in the cockpit, which I don't think would be possible in the economy. So thanks for watching my review. I plan to release many more in the coming months, including a landing on a beach in Barrow, Scotland, and London City to Luxembourg. And here's me being absolutely chuffed about pretending to fly a plane. Please like, comment, and subscribe.